Share my story. Welcome back to Share My Story, everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door. And also, just so you know, I'm also gonna talk to you over here. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Share My Story. Share My Story has been the most popping thing on this channel for God knows how long. I don't even know why. But for some reason, you guys happen to like it, so I'm gonna keep doing more. And this one was, you are my backup friend. Have you ever been the backup friend? I, mean, I don't think I've ever been the backup friend. I've been the awkward friend that no one really wants to hang out with, but I don't really think I've been the backup friend. Have you guys been? Like, uh, I'm kind of curious, because I, I, I don't know. Like, it was either people liked me or people didn't like me, and, well, the, the liking <laughs> wasn't really that much either, so. Yeah, let's look. No one likes you. That's why I didn't invite you to my birthday party. If anyone finds out that we know each other, then everyone will think I'm a loser like you. So stay away from me. Has anyone ever said something similar to you? Um, no. <laughs> God damn. Th like, that girl, that girl was ruthless. Like, nobody likes you. You're a virgin. Everybody thinks that you're a big piece of sh Like, what, what is up with these kids in school? No, you were probably a loser in school, like me. Most of my classmates didn't even know I existed, and my teachers kept forgetting my name. Like one time when I got an A-plus on my report card in math, although I had failed the written math exam. The only way I could explain how this had happened was that the teacher had confused me with another girl in our class who had the same name as me. Now, I believe that there are two ways to become popular in high school as a girl. First, you are pretty. Or second, you have a really outgoing personality. Or third, you suck a hell of a lot of dick. Fortunately, I had neither because I was ugly and boring. Hey, you don't what know? would you do this weekend? Watch TV with my mom, I guess. With your mom? Don't you have any friends? No, I didn't have friends. Put this dress on. I like it. But mom, tight dresses don't fit my body type. My mom didn't care. She forced me to put it on, and once I came back from the dressing room, she said, Oh god, it looks hideous on you. I didn't know someone could look this ugly. Okay, that's bullshit. You tell your daughter to put that dress on, and then you're just like, Oh! You look like shit! Why in the hell would you have put that on in the first place? Who told you to put that on? Ew, no, take that off! Some kids don't feel hurt when their parents criticize them, but I am very sensitive. I still remember the That's last not- time. that's not criticism! That is far from criticism! That's not criticism! That's your mom being a bitch! I dared to make a joke at home. I was six or seven years old, and I said, Mom, I knew Santa Claus exists! That's because you are cheap, and you would never buy me any expensive gifts, so Santa must have brought them. I was just a child making a silly joke, but my mom freaked out and said, You dare to insult your mother? Oh, come on. Probably have said way worse. Oh, wait, yeah, you did. You called her ugly. You're so cheap, Mom. You can't get me any of the good stuff. You get me the great value brand. What? Why? Why do you have the belt out? Go to your room so I don't have to see your ugly face anymore. You are ugly, ugly, ugly. She forced me to take private recorder lessons at home, and there was no instrument less cool than a recorder. Hey, hey! I draw the line here. You make fun of a recorder? I got to play all sorts of instruments, but the one that I started with, the one that got me going, was my mother flipping recorder. Don't you dare blame the recorder for your crappy lifestyle. It's your mom's fault. The recorder had nothing to do with it. Stop it. Anyway, in 10th grade, I made my first friend on my bus ride home. Her name was Vanessa, and she just sat down next to me and started talking. It was less of a conversation and more of a monologue from her because she loved talking about herself. Her house is on the same street as mine, and one day, she knocked on my door because her dog had run away. She wanted me oh to help her God! find him, and of course I agreed, because that's what friends do for each other, right? Well, a few hours later, I actually found her dog hiding under some stairs. The strange thing was that the dog didn't want to go back home to Vanessa. I had to carry him home to her while he was kicking and crying. So either Vanessa was a complete bitch to the dog, which is probably still a possibility, or the dog just didn't want to go home because he wanted to run around and kind of like play and do some other dog stuff. That's what our dogs do. Our dogs, they get out and they run up and down the road all the damn time, wanting to see what the other dogs in the neighborhood are doing, trying to be nosy assholes. Yes, I'm talking about you. When Vanessa saw us, she said, Stupid dog! Mom would kill me if you ran away. Then she told me, My family bought him for $5,000 when he was a puppy, but he looked a lot cuter back then than he does now, so I think I'm going to sell him again. Uh, okay. 
All right, all right. How, how much for the dog? If, if you're going to charge $5,000 for the dog, I'll buy the damn dog. All that her dog was alive and well. She also forgot to thank me for finding her dog. Most of you probably wouldn't want to be friends with someone like Vanessa, but I was a loser and I couldn't be that picky. One day on the bus, Vanessa mentioned that it was her birthday that weekend. Cool, will you throw a party? No, I'm going to visit my grandma in the countryside. Now you have to understand one thing. Uh, okay, why, why is it that everybody makes it sound so pristine and so fancy to go out to the countryside? I'm sorry, I've been sneezing this entire recording and I'm about to sneeze again. <laughs> Every Monday, one of Vanessa's real friends rode the bus too. And then Vanessa always pretended I didn't exist. She wouldn't say hi or even look at me. Stupid as I was, I thought she just forgot about me because she had so much fun talking to her other friend. So on the Monday after her birthday, I went over to them and said, Hey Vanessa, I hope you had a great birthday. I brought you a present. Before Vanessa could respond, her friend said, Oh my god, who is this ugly duckling and how does it know you, Vanessa? Ew! She doesn't- Oh, okay, look, th th these ugly jokes, like, you, you guys gotta come up with some better material, like, your bullying tactics are so dumb, like, they are so incredibly stupid. Who let the ugly duckling on the bus? Oh yeah, well, who had this fat, fat mouth on the bus? Know me, and I don't know her either. Then she screamed as loud as she could, Get away from me, you creep! <laughs> they both started laughing, and I went back to my seat in utter shock. I was mad and thought, well, if she doesn't want my gift, that's her bad. But the next day, Vanessa sat back down next to me as if nothing had happened at all. She said, The gift you showed me yesterday, do you still have it with you? No, I left it home. I didn't want to creep you out again. Oh god, are you still mad about yesterday? Don't you understand how nice I've been to you all this time? Oh, you know, I was a bitch yesterday, but, you know, today it's just like, what are you so mad about? What are you so mad about? Come on! Come on! Why, why are you so mad? Like, I, I don't understand. Like Remember when you asked me if I threw a birthday party and I said no? Guess what? I lied to you. Of course I had a birthday party, but it was better for you not to come because nobody likes you. And all my friends would have made fun of you because you were a creepy loser. Wow. While my mom had to put effort into making me feel bad, Vanessa did it without even trying. I responded, so am I your friend? Of course, you are my backup friend. If I don't have anyone better to talk to, then I will hang Tell out with me. you. In case Looking you didn't back. know, I am a great singer. I went on X Factor last year, and the only reason I didn't make it through yeah, the no one asked. was that I was too young. But Simon Cowell personally that has nothing to me do with it. and wanted to exchange numbers with me so we could stay in touch. He thought I had an incredible voice. Well, Vanessa's and my friendship came yeah, to an Yeah, I doubt that. End. I, I highly doubt that. Sort of I think I think that she's just like, okay, so you're an ugly girl. So uh, I went on X Factor. I got to talk to Simon Cowell. I got to bang it, ring his jelly donut. And we, we had such a great time. I'll tell you what. And then he impregnated me with quadruplets. And that's another story that's on Share My Story. So uh, you want to see that? I can subscribe. They are bus too. Vanessa told him, Oh, usually I sit where you sit now, but it's okay. I'll just sit next to you. By the way, do you like brunettes? Afterward, Vanessa never felt like talking to me again. She had found a better companion, but the cute boy ran into me once and my books fell over. He picked them up again and apologized, but Vanessa couldn't bear not being the center of attention, even if it was just for a second. So she faked a <laughs> What? <laughs> what is up with her face? I got the cute boy! Ah! Loud sneeze that sounded like some bird chirping. Achoo! <laughs> Vanessa, why did you just make that sound? Oh, I don't know. I always sneeze like that. Do you like it? Oh, God, yeah, the voice. Vanessa the voice. The voice is just brat. so bad. Meanwhile, my miserable life didn't change until I graduated high school. I was 18, about to go to college, and ready to reinvent myself. I set all kinds of goals, that this time I would be more social, make lots of friends, and be popular. And sure enough, when I moved into my dorm, I immediately hit it off with my roommate Angela. She even invited me to a co- Angela? I have a roommate named Angela. ...college party, and I thought this was my chance to show the world the new me. But once I arrived at the party, my anxiety kicked back in. I couldn't talk to anyone and just stood around alone and awkwardly. 
That's why I got myself a couple of drinks to relax. Biggest mistake of my life. I had never drunk alcohol before, and I ended up going over to a couple that was making out. Go away, you tramp. Now it's my turn to make out with your boyfriend. <laughs> I tried to kiss the guy, but his girlfriend slapped me in the face, at which point I spat at her and yelled, I'm going to sleep with your boyfriend tonight and there's nothing you can do about it. Meanwhile, all my fellow students were watching and laughing at me. I woke up the next morning feeling so ashamed of myself. <laughs> God. Wait, uh, how many drinks did it take her? Just like a couple or a few drinks or something? And she's just like, I'm gonna sleep with your boyfriend. He's gonna knock me up. You ready? Gonna, gonna have gonna have the prego belly. Eventually, I started attending classes again, but by then, I had missed so many classes that it was impossible for me to catch up on the material. So I completely stopped attending classes again and fell into a depression, staying in bed all day for the rest of the semester. Finally, I was kicked out of college and had to move back in with my mom. It's just like in the old times now. My mom keeps telling me that she isn't surprised that I failed college and that I should follow her career advice from now on. I guess the only thing that changed is that I now owe $10,000 in student loans. Honestly, I hate myself, I hate my life, and I hate my mom. What? That, that's, that's how you end it? I hate myself? I hate my student loans? I hate my mom? I hate fake friends? I tried to sleep with a random dude who was making out with his girlfriend at the bar because I just wanted to feel cool? What the hell was the story? Don't let these people run your life. It's not fair to you, and it's not fair to what you actually stand up for. Just be yourself. That's all you gotta do. And also, fuck this bitch's mom.